Okay, hello everyone. So this is a, a banana pie M20 board. So as you can see, um, it came with this box and it tells you which banana pie it is. For But for mine, it's banana pie M20, which is right there. It didn't come with the case. The case I bought separately. I bought them all on AliExpress. The case and the board. I also bought a power supply, but that hasn't arrived yet. And it, the format of this is basically exactly like a Raspberry Pi Zero, except the processor is a lot more powerful than the Raspberry Pi Zero. And um, I think that's a Wi-Fi chip. This is the CPU right here. It's an A7. Cortex ARM based CPU. It's a quad core CPU with, um, I think it's 1.2 gigahertz. That's a lot of power for something this small. And here's a micro SD card slot. And the card just goes in just like that. And you could just take it out just, just by pulling it out. like that just put it in here just like this goes right in um, I think this is a mini HDMI uh, port I think this is the this is for the power this is for USB it's micro USB to USB adapter you just get that it didn't come with this case like I said I just modified this case I put three rubber feet on the bottom of it and um, I put four screws on here and there's four spacers plastic spacers right there and two more here two more on the other side as well plastic spacers and here's a nut that fastens it fastens the board onto the bottom part of the case I think this is the GPU right here I think it's running a 600 megahertz and here you could put a Wi-Fi antenna right right here Let me, uh, point that out right here you could put a Wi-Fi antenna this is the power um, switch you could push push that on to power it on that's a reset switch and you could put a GP you could put GPIO pins in here if you wish but I didn't and if you want to put a network um, port you could solder in you could solder it in here and you could have RG45 network port if you want and this is for the camera right here and that's pretty much it so I just modified mine like this and the reason why I couldn't put the top of this here is because it simply will not fit as you can see the CPU fan for the, the CPU for the Raspberry Pi Zero is here more to the left and the CPU for the Banana Pi M20 is here so obviously this will not fit and if you try to make it fit like this uh, you don't the screws aren't long enough to reach the top so you can't fasten it so that's why I'm not using this right here I'm just using using it just like that which I think is it's okay and the reason why I put the rubber feet here is for this reason see these screws here it could mar the surface of the table if you slide it or something so having this um, having these rubber feet will not only enable this thing to not slide more easily but it won't it gives it a little bit more traction 
on a surface, on a flat surface. That's why I put that in there. So I'm going to be using this to um, play games. That's why I put a heat sink in, in there. But the heat sink that it came with, with this case, did not have thermal pads on the bottom. So I just I just have some extra thermal pads laying around and as you can see I kind of like sandwiched it on top of the heat sink. So the heat sink is here, the CPU is on the bottom. In the middle there's a thermal pad which helps to conduct heat. Which is pretty useful. That's pretty much it for the case part.